everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm Katie and today we're gonna do something a little different which I haven't done yet on my channel we are just gonna relax have fun put on some music and we're going to be coloring a page just having fun coloring in our um, journaling Bibles if you have one of these I have the NIV Beautiful Word Bible. It's my very first journaling Bible I got, I think, a couple years ago. But today we're just going to have fun and we're going to color together. So I decided to color in Micah. It's for Micah 1 3. And it says, Look, the Lord is coming from his dwelling place. He comes down and treads on the height of the earth. So I think that's a beautiful verse for today. He always comes down and helps us when we need it. He is always there for us. So I have my Prismacolors, which I've had for almost a year now. I got them for my birthday, so I'll be using Prismacolors today. But you can use any color pencils you may have on hand. You can use crayons, you can use markers. Just make sure you prep your page with clear gesso before you do that. And if you haven't seen the gesso video, um, it's in my channel and it shows how to use gesso and I also recommend to use cheap markers with that because gesso does dry out quite quickly with markers. So I already know that this is going to be a really pretty bright color. My color pencils aren't in exact order because they kind of got messed up when my dad and my mom borrowed my color pencils and now they're all over the place. <laughs> so now I just have to figure out where my color pencils are located. It might take me a few seconds to find the colors I need. Okay. That's what I need. So I'm going to use sunburst yellow. I'll try to try to put every color that I use in the description box just in case you do have Prisma colors or you can find a similar color. So this is sunburst yellow and I'm going to be using that to go into the um, ladder here to heaven. Well, I don't think God needs a ladder. I think we'll just come shooting down to help us all. <laughs> but I'm not really a fussy colorer. Sometimes I do um, shadows and highlights, but sometimes it's just fun to just straight out and color. It doesn't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just fun and relaxing to do. So if you stick around for the full 20 minutes, or however long this video is, let me know if you enjoyed it, and I'll try to make this a weekly thing so we can just color, relax, and chat, and have a good time together. And let me know if you want it in a live video. I'm thinking about doing that on YouTube, and we can color together um, as a group. That way you guys can hang out with me. I think that's a fun idea. Okay, now I'm going to be using lemon yellow and neon yellow. So I'm going to go in here, and this is this is in shading, but I'm just going to go in and let's see if I can zoom in a little. That's better. I'm just going to go in and color every other. I'm just going to do like the swirly color. Ones with the little swirls and it's this neon fun color. lemon yellow. I'm trying to remember what color I use. But if you 
use a couple different yellows and stuff. Um, it'll kind of look like you shaded or you use different colors, but they still match and still go well together. And with any color pencil, you don't have to go in hard with a color pencil. You can go in as light as you want and then you can build up color and go over again to make another layer to make it darker. Jasmine. Okay, that's more of the um, golden color here. I think that'll be a nice contrasting color. It'll still match all the other ones. A little bit more orange color to it. And what you can do to kind of um, make those like um, lines, you know how the lines you get when you color with colored pencils? You can try to go in circles instead of going up and down as you color. Go in little circles as you color and that will get rid of more of the lines in your coloring. Do you guys have any plans this week? Let me know in the comments down below if you have any plans. I'm waiting for my new glasses to come in, so hopefully those will come in this week. And I plan on going to the beach later on this week to hang out with one of my friends. That should be a lot of fun. I feel like this look should pop off the page. So why don't we do like a bright color? I'm gonna do this like pink, peachy color blush pink. We're going to use that for our look. So it pops off the page. Another tip for you guys is if you don't know about blending and you want to blend two colors together um, and you don't have a blending pencil or another blending medium, you can actually go in with a white colored pencil to blend in those colors and that'll work just as good as a blending pencil would. I'm actually going to do a little bit of blending in this look I think. There's like a shadowy look to this word here so I'm gonna add another color and go around in those kind of cheater shade spots. It's kind of funny that they have those but you can go in there and make it even pop even more. a 3D effect going there. I'm going to actually go in here and try to get a little bit more color into the letters as well. Just on the bottom part. It doesn't add too much color, but it gives it a little bit more shadow and fun look to it.
Oh, I forgot to say what color that was. That was hot pink that I used from Prismacolor. Let's see, what do we want to use for these next words right here? I think we should go back to the gold we used for the ladder and work in that. It was sunburst. My mistake. Trying to remember what color I use. <laughs> there we go, sunburst. So I'm gonna use that to color in these words right here to kind of match fit. I'm gonna get my pencil sharpener. you guys the pencil sharpener that I use. It looks like a camera. I love this thing. So easy to use and it is the Kakerland camera pencil sharpener and I'll try to link it down below where you can purchase it but it is the best pencil sharpener I have ever had in my life. Um, I've heard that Prismacolors and other wax baked pencils can break very easily when you sharpen them. This one does not break them. It is an awesome um, sharpener. I've had no problems with it. I've used it tons of times. See if I can show you guys. I, it's just, I'll show you how it works. That way if you do get one, you know how it works. It's got a button on the side here. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. It's got a button on the side right here. You push it in and it slides out the top. And then you have to push it in again so your pencil goes in. So it's in there. And it stays there so you don't have to hold on to it and then you just crank it. And don't crank it a lot because it's gonna sharpen fast and quick. And that's how quick and easy that was. And you get an extremely sharp point and you don't have to worry about it breaking. I love that sharpener so much. And now I can go into these tiny spaces of lettering and be able to color them easy and quick. Otherwise I would have had problems if I didn't sharpen it. <laughs> Something needs done on the bottom here. Let's see. Oops, I forgot about the letters down here. Do not see them. Somebody thought I would have mentioned. Hey, you see how you forgot the color of them?
start to get quiet when it's color because I concentrate. So again, remember, I'm not coloring alone today. I'm coloring with all of you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you colored with me. I'd love to. I'd love to see your artwork. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of the pink on the bottom where these like little patterns are. We're gonna go in and just color those up a little bit. What you can do is, when you're done with this, you can either leave it the way it looks, or you can actually even add a background if you want to. I'm gonna wait till I'm done with this and see how it looks, and then we'll figure out if we want to do a background or not on it. or not. I don't think it necessarily does if you don't want to. But we can go in with like a very pale pink. Let me see if I can find a pink that would look nice with it. And then I'll go in with like a lighter pink and then just make like a very light colored background. I can't see what I'm doing because it's a really pale pink, but I'm just going in with a really light pink called Deco Pink. I'm just going in and doing a light coloring over it so it kind of just has a really light pink background to match everything and blend everything. And what's nice about using a lighter color is you can go over that yellow that you put in the little words and it won't really blend too much into that so you can just go ahead and go over those over those words without smearing any of the yellow. any color you want for the background. It doesn't have to be a lighter color. You can do a darker color even if you wanted to. Just make sure you are careful around your letters so you don't cover up your letters. Or you can do it before you color the letters too. And I think it did blend a little bit with the gold colors. It kind of gave off a little bit of an orange glow. It actually turned out even nicer than I thought it would. So I'm totally fine with it blending together like that. Kind of give it kind of like a peach and pink look to it. I don't necessarily care how the background looks because I'm not too picky on backgrounds unless like if I want to do clouds or something. So I'm just going to do a quick and easy, fun little coloring just to give it a little bit more color to it. I think it turned out really nice. So that's what we did today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, um, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is a brand new thing that I thought I'd try just to give it a go and see how it went. Um, so if you do like it, leave a comment and we can do more of these color alongs together in our Bibles. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video.